Uh, the Hungry Ghost was an easy choice. I've loved Shyam's other novels, Funny Boy and Cinnamon Gardens. They're wry, compelling, very memorable tales. Uh, their characters are strong, stubborn, uh, independent women and gay men living in Sri Lanka. I think what's different about this one is that the canvas is broader. It's epic, it's darker, it's tougher. And it's set in the 26-year civil war between the Sinhalese and the Tamil Tigers in Sri Lanka. And the main characters, our lives are completely transformed by that war. I think what Shyam does best in the novel is capturing how so many of us are living ghosts. We're from other places, we've come here, we inhabit this city, but equally our feet are back in another place, another time, other lives. And that's of course what makes this city both difficult and memorable. And what, what brings our city to life, what brings Toronto to life, is the characters like Shivan who's here, or Daya who's still back in Colombo, but able to cast a shadow over lives here. I don't think any city is a resting place for immigrants. I think instead it's a, it's a, a place that's alive with both the here and the there. And we never sit down in that way. We're always thinking back to where we're from and where we're going to. And I think this novel captures that standing up feeling, that, that insecurity very well. If you're looking for a novel that mixes the epic, in this case the Sri Lankan Civil War, and the intimate and personal, a study of characters in a family ripping each other apart, this is your book.